It seems like it's the new Kiwi dream to find your own slice of paradise and live off the land. Even better when you can make it a business. That's what our next group of off-gridders have done by building their own luxurious clamping business. Let's go check it out. Hi Cheryl. Hi Craig, welcome to Orchard Valley. Would you like to come have a look around? Love to. Well we're Cheryl and Tataki, obviously, and um, we're both from the King Country and we went away and now we've come back again. Four years ago we moved back with our family. We've got four kids up at the house. This awesome opportunity came up. Tataki's auntie and uncle offered to sell us their runoff block. And we were looking at the time, we'd quit our jobs in Cambridge, we were looking for somewhere just to be a bit more hands-on with the kids. And we were just gonna move in with my parents until we found somewhere. And then they gave us a phone call one day where they were saying, yeah, we'd love to sell to you guys if you're interested. So this is our tent that we, that we have. We just love it. Came from exclusive tents over in South Africa. It's a lot more spacious than people probably expect. So you can see here we come in and here's our main lounge room. And so we've got a lovely large coffee table with our button back couch. And then I love the centerpiece at the back with all the books, our library, and all the board games there as well. So when we came to this place, because it's not all flat, to farm or make money conventionally, it was quite hard to be profitable. So we really needed another way of utilizing the land that we have to make an income to allow us to have the lifestyle that we have. We were at the field days a few years ago and saw all the safari tents and we thought oh these are neat and then yeah we were just having that ongoing conversation about you know what animals or what different businesses we could look into and then there was an article on stuff about how lots of lifestyle block owners were setting up accommodation or glamping sites and we thought oh well I thought oh <laughs> what a fun idea and then over on this side we've got our main four poster bed oh that's nice I like that yeah, we love it. <laughs> we think it's beautiful. Yeah. And did you notice as well the lampshade? So in here, the solar does the three main lights. The lampshades are cool because it covers up the LED lights, so it makes that's them look right. a bit prettier. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So we chose to have solar at the glamp site because we definitely wanted some of the luxury amenities of home. We looked at all the options of what we could use for that. But the mains was just too expensive, like far too expensive to get down here. And what and a drama to do that as well. Yeah, but we'd also had a few power cuts as well. We that's had, true. We had a run of power cuts. And that's like, true. We don't want that happening down here. Yeah, that's true. I think partly as well yeah. is that, you know, we didn't want it to be, right, you can plug everything in and have your no. hair dryer and watch TV. You know, we still wanted to be unplugged, but still you can charge your phone. <laughs> <laughs> and have a fridge. Yeah. <laughs> and your fireplace so, down here? Yeah, so this is our... EcoSmart Fire from Naked Flame. It's really great. It did such a great job of heating in winter. We weren't convinced it would definitely do a great job, but it turned up and it heats it up within 20 minutes or so. It's amazing. Gosh. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're so <laughs> pleased with it. Mm. Yeah, that's been so good. Definitely recommend those. So I guess here at Orchard Valley, there's plenty to do right here. We've got the, the tent is such a beautiful spot to hang out in. Even in the rain, there's board games, there's tons of books to read. There's a lovely indoor burner to sit next to in the evenings. And then we also have a little burner down the bottom there for toasting s'mores in the evenings. We've got a wood burner hot tub over there. And if you want to feed the animals on the farm as well, there's the opportunity. To yeah, come. some people ask so if yeah. they can come do so that. Come do the morning yeah. chores with us if you want. Yeah, but. you love when people <laughs> do that. <laughs> yeah. And then over here we have a second queen bed. That's sort of our day bed, so you can just use it as a day bed. Or if you've got extra family or friends that want to come stay as well. We have a maximum of four people in the tent. But you can see there's plenty of room for, for four yeah. people. Hey, so. And both these beds have incredible views out onto the orchard. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah I love over that. Over the pond, onto the orchard. So we've found many things quite challenging. Like um, just with the farming and the glamping side of stuff. Things take a lot longer, like originally this was going to take three months and ended up taking nine months. But, plus, uh, plus some probably. Plus some. <laughs> if we knew before we started how much it was going to cost, how long it was going to take and how hard it was going to be, mm. we probably wouldn't have done it. Mm. But being on the other side of it, 
I fully would recommend it to everyone, just to do it. If you've got an idea, just do it. Absolutely exciting moments that we had for the glamp side at the start was just finishing and opening up. Yeah. That was just really exciting. And then having people come and just love it and thanking us for opening it up. I guess when you're starting to make money and starting to be able to pay off some of the debt that you've incurred with your projects it is quite exciting. Mm, that's true. Seeing the yeah. projection coming up. <laughs> yeah. And otherwise being on the farm, definitely the highlights are the sunrises in the morning. I just love sitting with the kids having breakfast outside, just seeing the excitement of the kids, you know, finding the fruit on the trees or um, finding the oh, different bugs in the forest. All the new animals being born. Oh, like absolutely. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's always exciting. Yes, it's always exciting. When there's and new sad when they don't make it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. So this is our bathroom. Come have a peek in here. Beautiful got, bath. Oh yeah, we love that too. And we've got the nice big rain head and the telephone handles. Um, yeah. And we love having all the candles in here as well. So people can have a nice hot bath and relax with all the candles. And it's very private on this side too, so. Yeah, so you yeah. can actually have the curtains open. And... That's right, yeah. Yeah, we love our little bathroom. <laughs> so advice that we yeah. would give to others that we're wanting to, I guess, do something similar definitely do your research at the start because when it gets hard <laughs> and you think you might give up, hey, mm. you want to know that, yes, I definitely want to complete this project. If you're looking at solar, you just want to make sure that you've got room to move when you do that sort of stuff. And sometimes, you know, like spending a little bit more to get um, to get that extra safety is, is, is worth it in the long yeah. term. But if anyone's looking for resources to use, YouTube's like your first portal call, I reckon. Watched a few videos on um, regenerative farming, especially with um, Joel Sullivan and Justin Rhodes. I guess the, what's really helped us is that we've got family that are, that are really good farmers and, and there's neighbours and, mm -hmm. and friends and everyone's actually willing to help and I think that's the key thing is people actually want you to succeed so you just have to ask. If anyone wants to have a glamping chat, we're always oh, up yeah, for we're, a chat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. So come on over this way. So here we've got our covered dining area and obviously our, our kitchen. Ooh, that's flash. It's nice, eh? Yeah. We got the unit from Early Settlers. Basically in the kitchen we've just got the bar fridge and then the sink and unit for storing all the cutlery and things. Um, we always provide eggs and bread and a s'mores kit, milk and juice, you know, that type of thing. And is that all the solar gear and yeah. that cupboard in behind you there and the batteries underneath? Yeah, that's right. Yeah, all covered up in there. So we have installed our tiny house kit. I don't know if you can see behind this, but there is a wee cupboard here on the wall. And then just out the window, the solar panels are on the hill just here behind us. I came across your website and thought, oh, I love it. It says DIY and it says everything's in the kit. So I just love that. I thought, oh, it's all set up beautifully and clear and we should be able to install it ourselves. Oh, I love it. Yeah. Sometimes I bring my stuff down here to charge instead of charging it up at the house. It's free power. So. <laughs> but no, it works well. It's, yeah. It does everything we want. I guess the most different thing that we've had plugged in down here was someone that needed a CPAP. Yeah, they, they said most glamping places don't have electricity, so they had picked out so that they could plug in overnight. I thought, oh, that's really cool that they could still do that. So if we come over this way, we've got our wood-fired hot tub. So, <laughs> this is a luxury. Here, oh, it's it's so good. I think lighting the fire and setting up, it up is sort of half the fun as well. Yeah, yeah. You know? So yeah. you open all this up, you put in your little fire, and this dampens down the fire, and you you put the wood down the chute once it's going. Ah, right. Yeah, it works really well. It's beautiful sitting here with the stars and looking out over the pond, and that's our neighbour's beautiful kiwi fruit orchard over there. And down the bottom there, you can see we've got a little burner. We did have a nice big open fire pit, but obviously in the fire season you can't have those big pits. So we read that you could have the, um, the chimneys all year round, so we went and got one of these. <laughs> Perfect. What do we love about this lifestyle? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We do some long hours, some really long hours, but you can do those long hours with your best friend. <laughs> the thing that I love the most is the family side of it. I just love that we look after this piece of property and we look after the plants, we look after the trees, we look after the animals, you know, we watch the sunrises in the morning. I just love doing things together um, and I love that we're close enough to town but yet we're rural. Mm. 
I just love having the space, I just love having the, the different things to explore with the children. It's really, yeah, our dream property. Wow, what an amazing place. And to think this whole glamping experience is running off one of our tiny house kits. Just goes to show what you can run off our small kits. <laughs>